Hi, my name's Phil Bird and I'm a psychologist here at the Hummingbird Centre. Just wanted to share with you a key concept from our upcoming Building New Pathway series for clinicians and professionals. So one of the uh, key ideas um, when we're working with children who have experienced developmental trauma is this whole idea of neurosequencing. And this comes from uh, Bruce Perry's Neurosequential Model of Therapeutics. So the idea is, is that the brain develops from the bottom to the top, or from the most simple functions to the most complex functions. And that if we miss out on key developmental opportunities, we can become stuck at different stages in our development. And so many of the challenges that we see for many of these children is that they are developmentally stuck in certain areas of their brain. And so the idea is, is that we need to tailor our interventions to go back and to map the developmental trajectory of the brain. And we do this by working from the very base of the brain. So working from the brainstem and helping to build a pathway for this neuroception of safety. So they can actually have this felt sense of safety. And without that sense of safety, we can't actually build the next pathway, which is this pathway of regulation. So we can't regulate our internal state until we've actually had this neuroception of safety. Once we have this sense of safety, it helps our sense of regulation. So we can then build our regulation pathway from there. And then that then builds on to our sense of when we are able to be more regulated, we're able to feel more secure in our attachment relationships and we're more likely to engage in this, uh, to this back and forth of what we might call co-regulation. And so we need safety and regulation for this process to occur. And then the last stage to develop and then the last stage for our intervention is when we're working on learning, memory and identity. And this is where children start to realize their full potential. But by working from the very base of the brain, we're already helping up those higher, those higher pathways. But we first need to regulate the lower pathways in order to get there. And when we do follow this sequence, things just start to, uh, we start to unlock potential that we never realized was there in the first place. And so we're going to be exploring the different pathways for the brainstem and for the limbic system and for the social and emotional part of the brain. So the anterior cingulate cortex and how that connects with the prefrontal cortex and then how we can then engage that cortex to regulate uh, their whole brains. And so from there, we build a pathway from the very bottom part of the brain to the very front part of the brain. And this is that whole idea of neurosequencing. So I hope to see you all at, the, uh, at our upcoming training and we'll explore much of this in uh, greater detail. Hope to see you all there.